This is Onset's Hobo U12 data logger. It's a multi-channel data logger and can be used to measure temperature, relative humidity, light, and then has an external channel for measuring other equipment that could be attached at the side right here, like a CO2 meter or other different forms of measuring tools. Um, it's used in, in conjunction with the Hoboware software on your PC. You're going to download this first, set up your your parameters and then you're going to use the hobo data logger to track over a period of time. The most important thing to know about the hobo is that you can use it for any extended period of time from taking measurements every second to taking measurements once a day to a couple weeks if that's how much time you have. Um, We're still going. Okay, so the other thing to notice too is up on the top of the hobo there's a data or a, a barcode here and each one of the barcodes tells you where the hobo should be returned to. The Baker Lab has a different, a different setting here and for the ones that come back to Allison Quark's lab it says AOC, Agents of Change. So these hobo data loggers come back to the lab here. Um, what's there? Oh, one more thing. <laughs> So then after you're done collecting data, you're going to take, the, take it back to your computer and you'll be able to get it all with the Hobo software off of your PC. One other Anything else? One other thing I would mention real quick is that generally they're really easy to use, but sometimes people have uh, issues where they think they're collecting data and, and they aren't. Not, so use Recommend multiple. getting familiar with the software, launch it collect data for 10 minutes and then pull it back and go through the cycle once and Before you can also you see the red light on the side indicates when it's launched and taking data. Okay. But just go through. Yeah. Are we still recording? Yeah, I'll edit this all out. Okay. I swear. <laughs> You're right. What did you just say? What am I talking about? Uh, it's oh, to trial run. Okay. Trial run and look at the red button. Okay. So the other thing to remember with the hobo is that sometimes you can set it up on your computer and that people have gone back and realized that it's not actually recording data. So there are two things that you can do to make sure that that doesn't happen to you. The first is to do a trial run. So set it up on your computer, go ahead and take a couple minutes worth of data and then download it and go through the entire process so that you can see that it's actually working. There's also a red light on the side and that will light up when it is taking information.